So I started to walk into the water. I won't lie to you, boys. I was terrified. But I pressed on. And as I made my way past the breakers, a strange calm came over me. I, I don't know if it was divine intervention or the kinship of all living things, but I tell you, Jerry, at that moment, I was a marine biologist. George, I've just been reading this thing in the paper. It's unbelievable. I know. I was just telling the story. Well, come on, George. Finish the story. The sea was angry that day, my friends. <laughs> like an old man trying to send back soup in a deli. I got about 50 feet out, and suddenly, the great beast appeared before me. I tell you, he was 10 stories high if he was a foot. As if sensing my presence, he let out a great bellow. I said, easy, big fella. And then, as I watched him struggling, I realized that something was obstructing its breathing. From where I was standing, I could see directly into the eye of the great fish. Mammal. Whatever. <laughs> Right, what did you do next? Well, then, from out of nowhere, a huge tidal wave lifted me, tossed me like a cork, and I found myself right on top of him, face to face with the blowhole. I, I, I could barely see from the waves crashing down upon me, but I knew something was there. So I reached my hand to him, felt around, and pulled out the obstruction. <laughs> Come <laughs> on.